Well, good morning, YouTube. Uh, Thursday, or no, Friday, July 1st. Tim Hortons. Uh, it's about 4 o'clock in the morning. Our par for the course. Day off today. It's uh, Canada Day over here. And my American friends uh, have their 4th of July weekend. Big long weekend around here. Uh, but we're going to be out here all weekend. I've had the air conditioning on. It's uh, relatively uh, dry in here. Um, parts are laid out. Parts are painted. Things need to be put back together. I think I left you off. I had put the motor together last uh, video. Took a weekend off. Uh, <clears throat> this is it. We got to get it in there this weekend. I got to mate that to that. And then come up with a rolling setup so I can put it, stuff it under the car. I've had people ask me, you know, people stop by to look at, hey, if you need some help, give me a call. If you need some help, give me some help. You know, help would be great, but I don't think anybody else could walk through this garage without tripping on something and killing themselves. It's a system that I have. I know where I can step. You know, you got to put your foot there, you got to put your foot there, and then you got to jump over there. You know, without, there isn't enough room in here for two people. So anyways, uh, this is the mess I'm dealing with this morning. I will uh, bring you back once we get some of this done. I gotta get that uh, bell housing bolted on tight and see how well I did lining up the clutch. See if that transmission slides in. See ya! Okay, crazy Mopar fans. We're doing it. We're doing it old school from underneath. I got her suspended up in the air with the cherry picker. I should have a control drop, as they would say. Um, I might do this a couple times because I think I need to put the headers and everything on it, but I just want to see if I can get it low enough so that the uh, K member attaches. If it works, I'll lift it back up again, put her on some jack stands, and go from there. Install. See ya. Well, that's another milestone. Um, if you've been following along, you know that this whole half of the car was non-existent a few months back. So the fact that that frame rail attaches to that K member, the distance is right, spacing is good, didn't even have to hit it with a hammer. I'm pretty happy about that. She's in, she's bolted in. Uh, got it sitting on a jack right now, so I can lift it up, but the way the tranny's hanging, I need to uh, get the tranny cross member bolted in first before I lift the car back up. And it's kind of tight under there, but we've done worse. At least it's clean. I didn't get my hands dirty today. I think we're off that a little bit. We'll leave it under there. But uh, how low can you go? Low enough, I guess. Cuda on the ground, slammed. Maybe we'll leave it like that. See ya. Okay, it's your mid-morning update. We got her bolted in there solid, tightened down the motor mounts, got the tranny mount in. Uh, I got the headers on, tightened down. New spark plugs, valve cover gaskets getting closer um, not sure where I'm gonna go next I got the heater box uh, finished up so I can mount it in there uh, not much else to see uh, headers are on we're gonna run it like that I'd like to get the front suspension on before I fire it up though but uh, it's only Friday so we will have more to come yeah. Well, we're moving on to whatever this thing is. Some kind of a firewall pad. Guess it goes right in there like that. And that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so that's done. Got the uh, blower heater refurbished. Just did a quick clean up on it. Rinsed all the uh, Homeless mice out of it. Uh, got her in. 
Uh, nothing too eventful there. Uh, fellow YouTuber, which shall remain nameless, uh, <clears throat> there are a few to buzz. Um, I noticed in one of his videos, I was, and trust me, I'm, I'm learning a lot, Buzz. Uh, that's how I, just watching you put this together, because there's no instruction manual on these things, and you're one of the few people who've documented do, putting them together nicely. I remember how you noted that you needed two people to put this heater box in. I did it by myself, put the motor in by myself, pretty much built this whole car by myself. But uh, where there's a will, there's a way. But you're right, you gotta push on that foam pad and get a bolt started. But if you get it just right, it'll stay in there long enough to run out here and start a, start one bolt on it and then uh, go from there. So I did. There you go, heater core's in, uh, blower's in, um, just got the defrosters outside, uh, scrubbing them down, a little bit of overspray on them from a previous painter. Uh, then we're going to get into this dashboard. Uh, I'll probably just drag it out today and uh, a lot of cleanup. I got a new pad for it, but I want to just go through uh, as much as I can, straighten up the wiring and whatnot that's uh, underneath there. Then uh, steering column's got to be cleaned up. And then I can put some wire and fire to this. See ya. What we got here is dashboard confessionals. Yeah, what we're doing, you can see I've got that one done already. There was like a, I don't know, a haze. They were kind of faded. The lenses kind of look grayish. So I just used a little bit of the 3M compound, just the fine grit stuff, by hand with a rag. I'm just uh, I'll show you here, shaky cam. I'm just working it around with my finger. And it's coming up pretty good. Put, put a little pressure on it just to scrub it. Kind of like the same thing you do with a hazed over uh, headlight setup. So, making it look a little better. Presentable, let's call it. Doing a dash. There's your dashboard. Reboot. Uh, sanded it down, scuffed it, shot it with some semi-gloss black, just so she blends in. Uh, matches the plastic trims with it. So there you go. Lenses all cleaned up. Should be like brand new. We got a new uh, dash pad to put on it. And then hopefully I can get one of my cronies that are offering to help to throw this thing in tomorrow. Because it is a two-person job. But we'll see. Uh, might end up doing it by myself. Got a cherry picker there. Yeah, probably scratch something. But uh, it's kind of hard to manhandle this thing by yourself. But uh, I've done it before. I took it out. But I wasn't worried about hurting anything on the way out. So there you go, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm going to call it a night for tonight. Friday night, Canada Day. Go inside and fall asleep before the fireworks go off. I'll be up in the morning, bright and early. Put this thing back together. See ya.